programs related to ending litter, improving recycling, and beautifying communities. So neighborhood cleanups like this fit in that bucket of ending littering. Keep Atlanta Beautiful Commission is housed in the Department of Public Works, and we have three main focus areas. We do a lot around litter prevention, including our Adopt-a-Spot program and community cleanups. We also work uh, with recycling, so we manage the education and outreach program for the city of Atlanta's curbside recycling programs. And then we also do uh, some beautification work, um, and primarily our work has been focused around the Browns Mill Food Forest. Community cleanups is an opportunity for residents and volunteers to come together to clean their block, uh, their neighborhood, uh, their street, um, and get together. We provide supplies such as litter grabbers, uh, gloves, trash bags, uh, safety vests, and uh, we coordinate a pickup after they're done. Well, today we are planning to clean up our community. Southside Concerned Citizens of Atlanta is a combined community association for Blair Villa, Pool Creek, and Orchard Knob communities. So our plan is to come together, and we're not gonna go down the interior streets so much, but the major streets that get the most traffic because those streets get the most volume of trash and debris. Mm. And we say, don't just live here, thrive here. You don't feel like you're living and thriving when you're surrounded by a whole bunch of trash all day long. See, I'm not used to a picture. I'm used to just getting in with my hands. Well, we're out here uh, in the community to clean up the community because we want uh, to have a standard of excellence. We want uh, people to know uh, how valuable uh, our community is and that uh, uh, sometimes that we have to sacrifice and we have to come together ourselves. Uh, it shows unity, it shows togetherness, it shows uh, what we value and that we want people to be able to appreciate the community that they, that they live in. And it's a good uh, way of being able to know your neighbor right. and be able to have fellowship. And that's one of the things that we have gotten away from. We don't fellowship, we don't know who our neighbors are. We're gonna go over to the church. We're gonna take care of our community. Okay, this is where we live, this is where we worship, this is where we shop, this is where we spend our time. Mm -hmm. And so it's very critical for us to take care of our own. That's something that I don't think that we take enough of advantage of. The fact that we are as close as we are to the airport, the fact that we can get to downtown as quick as we can. We're at 285, we're at 675, we're at 75, we're at 85. That's an ideal location. We have a lot of traffic in our neighborhood. We have a lot of people who would come through our neighborhood. Uh, if, if we have a sanitized environment, if we have a clean environment, uh -huh. then that might make people think about coming to live in our environment, about maybe, if not spending time, then at least maybe spending some money. It may help them want to invest in our community because when people see you helping yourself, then that motivates them to help you. We like to say that clean communities um, are safe communities. They're prime for economic development and everyone deserves to live in a clean, beautiful environment, no matter where you live.